how did I more than double this account in a week? And with no drawdowns. Well, the main focus is on crisp and clean setups that are coming to me. So I'm not hunting these down. I have the key, whole key to this is, this is a, a backup account, secondary account, I have my main swing account. And when there's an obvious trade like NVIDIA that is breaking out of a multi-week base, double bottom, that uh, and everybody is calling, everybody can see it. That's when I wanna, that's the type of trade where I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take it intraday as a day trade and I'm gonna have very tight rules for entries, exits, just basically catching clean moves, right? Not allowing for drawdowns, not allowing for things to play out. Now, if I held, when I bought Monday, I had a gain of, what was that, uh, 53%, almost 54%. I could have held that and that would have been like a four or five bagger uh, if I held all the way up to here. But that's not the whole goal of this account is, you know, then it, it, I would have had drawdowns and it would have came down and it would have been given stuff room. And that's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, so I'm looking for a clean setups. They're coming to me and they're speaking to me through the filters and scans that I have here and through trade ideas uh, while I'm focused on swings and day trades. Uh, so that's the main thing. Now, JP Morgan, I took this morning where it broke out uh, to all-time highs. I, I got in here with calls, wrote it up, and it got out. And then I took puts and wrote that down today. Uh, so I'm not coming in today thinking like I have to do any. I could, I could go like three weeks without doing anything in this account. I don't care, right? That's the whole point. And um, the whole point of it too is to be very strict with uh, very tight stops, clean entries, break, buying breakouts only, uh, and it's got to move right away. And then as soon as I see a sell signal, I'm out. Hopefully I'm out before then because I'm selling into strength. Like that is the whole key to it. And it's hard because uh, I took puts here on JP Morgan and I got out. And then of course it went lower. So I, I got out, uh, would I buy for like 150, sold for like maybe 180, something like that. And the whole thing, it went down like probably $3. So it's, there are no regrets. That's it. Like, I'm just looking to catch a clean move uh, with the catalyst with news. They had earnings today. Uh, so let's see where I can take this account. I'll do some updates on it as I'm making progress. Uh, hopefully with the way that I'm playing it, if I stick to the, the methodology behind it, uh, that I can continue to grow the account. Uh, but my main focus is still uh, first and foremost on day and swing trading stocks. Uh, I'm only allowed to trade options in this account, uh, and that's it. So if you want to see how far I can grow this account, and great, and maybe what I'll try to do is I can figure out the streaming thing. Maybe I'll do a little bit of live streaming with it, uh, and you can, you know, see what I'm doing there. I don't encourage you to follow me in terms of like my exact trades. You have to do your own homework and your own trades. I mean, I'm, I'm, I love to share ideas and processes, um, but you have to do your own homework. But anyway, maybe I will do that. Uh, other than that, SMCI, I think these things look okay. So Mara, I'm gonna hold that over the weekend. That's probably heading a lot lower. 